Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Arida. Today we're testing out the uh, KTM Duke 390. It is a A2 bike for A2 license and uh, it has 32 kilowatts or um, 44 horsepower. Uh, therefore, it is at the limit of A2 because uh, it is all about the weight uh, power ratio. And in this case, it, this one only weighs 150 kilos and for, therefore it is at the limit of 0.2 uh, kilowatts per kilogram uh, therefore we have the full power for a2 on this bike here so it doesn't matter if you have 48 or you have uh, here in this case 44 this is as powerful as you know another bike with 48 horsepower anyways um, yeah that is what I wanted to tell you we have 830 millimeter seat height uh, let's go to the sunny side of this bike here 830 millimeter seat height, one cylinder, 373 displacement, I think, I believe. And um, what I noticed already in the lower refs uh, in, in traffic, uh, in the city, in city traffic, uh, the sound from this one cylinder, this uh, uh, sounds like a sewing machine. I don't really like it personally. Some people like it. Uh, when you go up to higher speeds and higher revs, it's no problem for me, but this lower sewing machine uh, uh, sound I don't like, you know, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, let's get to the controls and the display. So on the left hand side we have the clutch which is adjustable in five positions. We have the buttons here for the display, we have the blinker switch, we have the horn switch here. On the right hand side we have the uh, keel switch right here and the starter switch and the throttle and of course the brake lever for the front disc brake. So on the in the display you can I think it's a very very nice uh, display. Uh, uh, you can see on the on the in the right hand upper corner uh, you see the gear which is what gear you have in there. Uh, you have a very nice ref counter uh, which I really really like. Uh, we have the speedometer in the middle, we have the odometer and we see that we're in ABS road that means we can also deactivate the rear ABS and uh, it is here it is called Supermoto. Uh, we have some data which apparently we can switch which permanently are shown to us on the left hand side. We also have a clock and indicator lights for Bluetooth and so on. Let's quickly jump into the menu here. We press the set button and uh, we can go, we can connect it by, by app with KTM MyRide. Apparently the uh, salesperson said if you buy this app for $9.99 or something it is also possible to navigate I don't know if that is true or not uh, please let me know in the comments um, also we have trip data here or let me just uh, switch this to English I'm sorry uh, we have trip data right here let's go and see uh, general info about the bike date odometer and battery voltage then we have trip info one and two and warnings 
uh, underneath we have motorcycle info in uh, ABS uh, connected not connected or rather the supermoto mode uh, we can go into settings here we can set the favorites uh, quick for the quick selector one or two which are the uh, arrow keys uh, Bluetooth display theme we can change it to bright and and uh, inverted stuff like that uh, we can uh, change the shift light um, clock date units language service extra function is only KTM my right uh, that's about it very quickly not really explained but shown to me uh, to you and when we press the quick selectors with the up or down arrow I will press the up arrow now you get all the data which you programmed in your which you want to see and trip one is here also these data anyways this is the display for the KTM Duke 390 Yes, we're back in a saddle with KTM ready to race. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it is a little A2 license fun bike, definitely. And uh, I was actually very tempted when I got my A2 license to get this one. Unfortunately, so many things happened with this dealer. Because the first thing was, you know, that he didn't have it for test ride. If he had had it for test ride. I might have actually bought it because now I see it is a lot of fun it has a cool display especially for younger people I think they they really like this display and I like it too and uh, yeah it is it is really nice you know <laughs> what else can I say <laughs> uh, the seat height is 830 so a little bit on the high side nevertheless uh, also taller riders can ride it quite nicely because it has the higher seat height um, what else um, it has uh, 32 kilowatts uh, 44 horsepower it is uh, basically made for the country roads here a very fun bike to go on these country roads I can tell you that if you have twisties and stuff like that it needs a lot of uh, rpms I think to be happy but uh, yeah it is definitely nice yeah I, that's my first time on a KTM I have to get used to it or I had to get used to it a little bit beforehand but it is definitely nice and uh, yeah especially for younger riders I think and the the, the looks I, I definitely dig the looks as well it is definitely a very cool looking bike you can get it in two colors um, this one here is white and then a black uh, I think actually they had something uh, as a silver on the website I don't know whether well, I don't know maybe they uh, for a different uh, model maybe the 125 I'm not sure but the dealer said only black and white and uh, yeah I really don't have to do a very big test right here for you guys already because I like it very much it is a very agile uh, it is very flickable it has uh, so much power you know it basically has the same power as any other a2 bike because it is so light you can get a quick shifter for this for 250 extra um, it is only a software quick shifter so they only have to change something in the uh, in the software uh, of the bike of the ECU and um, so it's very easily done and I, what I've heard so far, it's, a, it's even more fun to, to do this with a quick shifter here. It's a very, very nice display. The RPM counter is very easily readable. And it's actually better readable than a needle, you know, than a needle gauge. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I have no complaints whatsoever about this display. Yeah, 
I can look at this display for hours and say, oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and if this actually really had like the, uh, like the uh, um, salesperson said, if it actually really has navigation turn by turn, then that would be even better because they always miss their opportunities with this one. If you can do this uh, through the KTM MyRide app, that would be really, really nice. So let's check out the suspension here. Yeah, it seems a little, little teeny tiny bit on the soft side. Not hard, more soft. I'm a little bit surprised since it's supposed to be like a little teeny tiny racing machine. Yeah, fourth gear in this and this uh, ref range is not much doing not much good here so yeah what I can say already to you if you're in the market for a KTM Duke 390 and you dig this design you like the colors you like yeah you like the display okay the the engine you ha really have to get used to it first how it rides you know how it feels um, but it is a lot of fun as I said in the lower revs you know in the city I don't really like this uh, tuck, 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 uh, engine but when you get up at higher speeds you don't notice it that much anymore and then it's really it really shines you know at higher revs whoa yeah really nice Once again, the display is very crisp and clear. I cannot stress enough that, that I like this display so much. <laughs> and of course, the design is striking, but of course you don't see it when you sit on it. But when you come to it and want to ride it and have it parked, it really is a striking design. I had a little bit of problem shifting into neutral when I stopped, maybe it was just a one-time thing, but I I only had these problems yet with this one here, with this bike, and with the Ducati, all the other bikes, I never ever had any problems getting it into uh, neutral. I don't know if that's a known thing from KTM or if it was just bad luck to do, to, to do this here, or to be unable to do this. the highway here freeway whatever and it's really nice the air flow is like a naked bike there's no turbulence here really you just get the full force of the wind on the chest so you know what is coming at you there's no problem and for our speeds up to 120 130 absolutely no problem whatsoever I think I can actually conclude this video already here for you on the freeway. I do like it very much and I can highly recommend it to anyone who is interested in getting an A2 bike and uh, who only wants to pay 6,000, 6,300 euro. Uh, of course this is not, you cannot actually uh, unplug it you know and get more power like with other some other bikes which are restricted but maybe you know uh, you have enough fun and then after that if you want more power you just buy the 890 or whatever they call yeah so that is basically my review my test ride of the ktm duke 390 here for you for you on this channel here on banner rider thanks very much for watching this is banner rider out take care bye bye